This was one of the most spectacular moments of Holy Week in the Vatican following the Stations of the Cross. When St. Peter's was suddenly lit up at the announcement of Christ's resurrection, Pope Francis did not preside over the Easter vigil, but rather Cardinal Giovanni Battista Re. The Pope gave the homily and ended it by saying, Christ is risen in Ukrainian. He acknowledged a delegation that came from Ukraine comprised of the mayor of a city occupied by Russia and three members of the Ukrainian parliament. Noi soltanto possiamo darvi la nostra compagnia, la nostra preghiera e dirvi il coraggio di accompagnare e anche dirvi la cosa più grande che oggi si celebra. Christos fos Chris. The following day, thousands filled St. Peter's Square to attend the final celebrations of Holy Week. Pope Francis presided over the ceremony, although he was noticeably tired. He had to sit down while speaking after Mass, yet his harsh words against the war in Ukraine did not lose their force. Si scelga la pace, si smetta di mostrare i muscoli mentre la gente soffre. Per favore. Per favore, non abituamoci alla guerra. Impegniamoci tutti a chiedere a gran voce la pace, dai balconi e per le strade. The Pope cited a manifesto written by Albert Einstein and Bertrand Russell in 1955 to urge world leaders to pursue nuclear disarmament. Chiara responsabilità delle nazioni, ascolti il grito di pace della gente. Ascolti quella inquietante domanda posta dagli essenziati quasi 70 anni fa. Metteremo fine al genere umano o l'umanità saprà rinunciare alla guerra? Pope Francis asked the world to pray for peace in Africa and the Middle East and mentioned in particular Jerusalem, Yemen, Libya, Syria, Iraq, Afghanistan and Lebanon. He also asked for prayers for Myanmar, for those affected by natural disaster in South Africa, and for the people of Latin America suffering financial hardship. Afterwards, he delivered the long-awaited Urbi et Orbi blessing. Et benedictio Dei Omnipotentis, Patris et Fili et Spiritus Sancti, descenda super vos et maniat semper. Some 50,000 people were present, reaching almost pre-pandemic levels. After two years, St. Peter's Square came back to life during Holy Week.